Hello everybody, my name is John Fisher. I'm the Director of Product Development for Jayco Towables, uh, the, the White Hawk J Feather and J new J Feather micro brands. Today we're outside of the J Feather 30QB, which is one of our largest models in the fleet. Uh, this, this unit is 36 feet, 11 inches. Uh, it has a UVW of 7,265 pounds uh, with a GVWR of 8,500 pounds. So very much half ton towable. Um, capacities on the tanks. We have 55 gallons fresh, which that's on all J Feather, all J Feather Micro, and all White Hawks. So um, over the last model years, we, we've increased our fresh water capacity to one of the largest in the industry. It has 61 gallons of gray water capacity and 31 gallons on the black tank. So a couple things uh, new for 2023 is if we go up on the roof, our AC has increased to a 15,000 BTU AC, up from 14,500. Our supplier of the ACs uh, did some things with the compressor. They actually run a little quieter and we got a little bit more output uh, on the cooling. So in this model, you can upgrade to a 50 amp service, which would allow you to put a second AC. So in some of those hotter states, you can get up to 30,000 BTU uh, of cooling capacity. Um, a lot of our customers over the past couple years have wanted to do more and more off grid. So Jayco going into this 2023 model year, we really upped our game on the, uh, on the solar uh, packages. So last year we offered a uh, solar package that uh, was a 30 amp controller inside with a 190 watt roof mounted solar panel. Going into 23 now, we have that same package, but the it's called Overlander 1, but the panel is now a 200 watt panel. So you have 30, uh, 30 amp controller inside, 200 watts up on the roof. And then we have an Overlander 2 package uh, that gives you a now two 200 watt panels up on the roof, an 1800 watt inverter, and then also the 30 amp controller on the inside. Okay, now we're on the off camp side of the uh, J Feather 30 QB. Just want to point out a couple things. First of all, battery quick disconnect that is on all of our products uh, micro j feather and white hawk and we also have inverter pre-wire so there will be in mainly pass through of our products or our, our models you'll see a wire with a diagram and mainly what that inverter will run is the two main outlets in the bedroom your tv and then if the model like the 30 qb has an outside kitchen it will also be that outlet. Uh, another thing that we'll show you inside is, is we raised our bed heights a bit and, and we'll sh again show you when we're on the interior walkthrough, but what it did is increased our uh, exterior pass-through. So we've got a lot more room in our exterior pass-through, one of the largest in the industry. And then lastly, a lot of the brands out there do have camera backup prep. Uh, Jayco, a year or two ago, we added side marker prep. So if your tow vehicle has the camera, you're getting both sides and, and then the rear. Once the camera's in for towing, you got your sides. If you're on a, a, a multi-lane highway, uh, somebody coming up on either one of the sides, it kind of shows you that those sometimes blind spot areas. All of our lightweight models come with the new J-Port system, which was introduced in the 2022 model year. And what that is, is off the main frame, there is a two inch receiver that allows you to install this bracket arm and table for your griddle. And then you'll have an LP gas port there as well. But in all the lightweight brands, J Feather and, and White Hawk, we do have it anchored in the pass-through storage. So it's bracketed in there for safety so it's not sliding around your pass-through. And it's easily removable to bring out and install it when you get to the campsite. So in varying locations along the main frame, you'll see the J port sticker and you just lift the lid and take the bracket arm out from the pass through and the table and insert it. And then your LP quick disconnect will always be down where it's somewhere close, but basically set the griddle here and it's very always going to be as close to the outside kitchen. Now bear in mind if the J feather or the Whitehawk model has an outside kitchen, then the griddle is standard. 
If it does not, then you have to option in the griddle. But you'll always have the J-port and you'll always have the table and bracket. Uh, one other really cool feature that was just introduced, and bear in mind, the 2023 model year, we started rolling product out in July, but due to supply, we couldn't get the new uh, rock solid stabilizer system until the September, October timeframe of production. So we're just rolling out with these new stabilizers. They are awesome. We uh, did some preliminary testing where we took our scissor jacks, manual scissor jacks that we've used for years, and then outfitted a J-Flight with the new rock solid stabilizer system. And it was incredible how the unit then was anchored down. So you get to the website, you level out, you put the jacks down and you are absolutely rock solid. So that's a new feature. Um, I'm not gonna demonstrate them today, but we do have a, a video coming out that will show you exactly how to use them and how to get the best stability across the board with the new rock solid stabilizer system. As we're showing you the J-Feather 30QB, one thing that I wanted to point out, and it's a very important design criteria uh, from our product team is, I opened up the awnings for you, and as you can see, we have double awnings on this. They're both 13 foot long, so you have 26 feet of, of shaded space. Uh, obviously, we know when we're camping, a lot of time spent outside and under the awning making memories, so we always maximize that size. Your largest single awning can go up to 21 feet, but depending on the model, if you look at any micro, J-Feather, or Whitehawk, um, if it's a single awning, we're always going to be pushing that 18 to 21 foot, depending on where window placement and doors are, um, on our longer models and obviously maximizing that space. So awning length is always very important to us. As you walk around any Whitehawk or J-Feather with a through, through frame slide for 2023, you'll notice a little notch out in the skirt metal. And what that is, is we've redesigned uh, the, the override system on our slide out. So before in past model years, if there was an issue with the slide, um, which very rarely ever happens, you would have had to crawl under the underbelly and there was an access panel in the underbelly that you'd have to go up to get to the override part to bring the slide in or out. So if there ever is an issue, you can take your power gun or your manual crank, stick it in there and basically it'll override the slide system. So it's a nice new feature, uh, very convenient. Uh, another new thing, you'll see the Asdell sticker on every single lightweight model. Uh, going into last year's model year, we went to double-sided Asdell. So there's very uh, minimal uh, competitors out there that use Asdell in place of the Luon paneling. Uh, we went ahead and some use it on the exterior skin, but we have Asdell um, vacuum bond laminated to the exterior fiberglass skin and also la vacuum bond laminated to the interior wall board. So double-sided Asdell on the full perimeter. Another uh, steadfast thing with Jayco has been the, the, the Jayco Goodyear Endurance tires. We've had them for a good number of model years now. Absolutely love them. They're American made. Our consumers love them. They have the highest speed and load ratings in the industry. Um, we have an exterior TV bracket. So as inexpensive as TVs are now, uh, it's just kind of nice with all this awning space, bring an exterior TV, hook it up. You've got all the hookups and can watch a movie or uh, your favorite team watch a game uh, while you're out camping. And then another new thing that we're excited about is we have Furion tankless water heaters. So it's replaced the gas electrics that we've had so you can have continuous uh, hot water in your coach. So we're really excited about that. And that's on all the Jayco towable brands. So now that we've kind of hit some of the, the new stuff for 2023 and some of, the, uh, some of the steadfast, exciting features we've had on the models, we're gonna take you inside and show you the, the floor plan layout and talk about some of the new things as well for 23. All right, we're gonna walk up into the 30QB. Before we do though, we do have the solid step that is now a st uh, standard uh, feature on all J Feather models. So just a quick latch, drop the step, and they are absolutely solid. Last year they were optional on all J Feather models. 
We've made them standard just because of our retail customers loving the step so much. Uh, we made it a standard feature for all J Feather models. Now we're in the interior of the 30QB and wanted to start out by saying um, kudos to Stacy Stewart and her design team. From the 21 model year, 22 model year, we've carried over again our modern farmhouse decor as well as our vintage wash gray. They've been super popular uh, across the industry and Stacy and her team are, are seriously real trendsetters with our decors. Because you're not just picking out the color of cushions like a lot of the manufacturers out there, you're actually getting a complete decor set. So this, mo this is in Modern Farmhouse and just bear in mind if you know where, where you're seeing the Modern Farmhouse, you could replace that with vintage wash gray but we do have the bourbon chocolate accent. So you'll see it in our slide room, our entertainment centers are usually bourbon chocolate, and then our bedrooms. But all of our bathrooms, whether it's vintage wash gray or modern farmhouse, will have the uh, modern farmhouse uh, wood color in it. So just again, uh, we, we, I know Stacy and her team, they really follow home trends. And I think if you go back years ago, you know, RVs always seem to be, you know, two to three years behind home trends. And I don't feel that anymore. I feel like Jayco has some of the, uh, the strongest decors out there in the industry today. So one really neat feature about the 30 QB, again, with it being our largest feather bunkhouse is the amount of sleeping. And we'll show you the bunkhouse here a little bit and the, and the front bedroom as well. But, you know, for, for a 36 foot 11, uh, 36 foot 11 inch coach, we've really maximized your living space. So you got a nice size U dinette. Again, this is a foldable, portable table that can fold down, adjust your cushions and be a sleeping area in seconds. So you can, you can sleep up to five people in the rear of, of the coach in the bunkhouse, one to two people in the dinette and two people here, along with your front queen bed. So you've got two, four, five or six, and another four or five in the rear. We had consumers and our dealers ask us to just put more in key locations. And, and we've, I think, done a really good job of that. So any sitting area or sleeping area, you're gonna have access to USB. So in this coach, we've got one right behind the sofa. There's one over here in the U dinette. So we really maximize USBs. And then the power tower has 110 volt and, uh, and USBs built in in that kitchen area. Another cool feature for 2023 is we went to blackout roller shades, which is really nice. A lot of the competition in the lightweight segment use the corded uh, pleated night shades. These are more like motorhome and residential. And the cool thing that we added too is it has a reflective barrier. So it's really gonna keep that UV, the UV rays out of the coach. And again, you'll find that on all White Hawk, J Feather, and Micro models. Uh, another thing that we did for 23 is all of our TVs are smart. So in J Feather, you're gonna have a 32 or 39 inch TV, and it's gonna be a smart TV. So we're really excited about that for our retail customers. Uh, storage is always super important in, in every uh, floor plan. Uh, so we always try to maximize our storage. One nice thing with the 30 QB as you come in the, uh, the front entry door is we've got a nice size walk-in pantry with deep shelves. You can store a ton of stuff in there for sure. As you walk through any White Hawk, J Feather, or Micro model, one uh, another very important design criteria is maximize windows. And you'll see in this 30 QB as you walk down the hallway towards the bedroom, large windows. So it doesn't matter if it's a bedroom or if, if it's in your main living area, we're gonna always fill that space up with as large of a window as we can. Obviously, there's a lot of times you're at very scenic campsites or you've went off grid and you're inside, maybe it's not a, a really nice day, but you're always gonna have a great view of the campsite uh, with the oversized windows that we use. Another really nice thing with the 30 QB is it has a well-appointed bathroom. It's roomy. It has a 34 inch radius shower and it has tons of storage. I mean, you've got a, a full linen, you've got storage under the sink. There's a little linen shelf above the toilet and then you got your medicine cabinet. So it's well appointed. As I showed you at the beginning uh, in the pass-through storage, as we've increased our pass-through storage size, we were able to do that by raising our beds up a little bit more to residential heights. 
But one key feature that we've had in the White Hawk and J Feather models is this cubby space back here. We put a little blue nightlight back there, but also a 110 uh, volt recep on each side. So you can charge phones or even if you have a CPAP machine, uh, there's adequate space back there. Um, but what we didn't lose was the underbed storage. So there's still a huge amount of, of the uh, storage under the bed. And it also allowed us on, on each model to keep a, put a drawer on each side. So his and her drawer uh, for extra storage. And you still have, you still have your, uh, you know, your wardrobes with the removable shelves and hanging space. So well-appointed bedroom, um, but we're really excited about having the, uh, the increased bed height to give you more exterior storage as well as maintain the same amount of storage on the inside and give you the extra drawer. We really love this rear bunkhouse of the 30QB. Um, it's very roomy, spacious, and very functional uh, for the kids. Uh, plenty of storage. We've got basically his and her lockers here. Uh, we've got a little uh, entertainment center with more cubby space. This is actually another uh, hide-a-bed type that we can pull out into maybe a sleeping area for it. definitely one, but if it was two small kids. And then we have a stowaway table, so if they want to eat or play some games, we've got a little two by four folding table. Um, you can even take that out under the awning and use it uh, for suitable space or putting food and stuff on it and then a couple drawers built in. Uh, again, this bunk area, you're sleeping one to two here. You've got your double bunks over here and then this bunk, just dropping it. So you literally could sleep four to five depending on the size of the kids. And you'll notice in each one, each bunk has a USB uh, port along with the 110 outlet and cargo nets uh, for extra storage for the kids. Um, one other cool feature is that we have the stowaway bunk ladder, which we're introducing for 2023. A lot of times, many of the manufacturers don't put ladders in the bunk areas. And then during transport, uh, we've got a, a nice size cargo door. So you can load up bikes, grills, whatever, whatever things that you would transport to the campsite, nice size cargo door to get you to and fro. So this 30QB, again, is, is one of my favorite feather floor plans because of the versatility, the amount of storage. I mean, you can sleep a ton of people in it, uh, and it's very, very towable by the, those half-ton trucks. So I wanted to thank you uh, for taking the time to go on the tour of the 30QB with me. And as always, we appreciate our Jayco customers and hope you have some happy camping.